Hey guys, welcome back to the All Passion, No Skill playthrough of RimWorld. We should really say the All Passion, All Skill playthrough at this point, because Lee has now managed to bring up all of his skills from zero, except for artistic and intellectual, since we haven't focused him on that stuff, uh, up to a pretty friggin' incredible point with pretty much everything. Uh, cooking, plants, and animals. Really, I want to focus him on cooking, construction, uh, and uh, shooting for today, but anyway, let's recap what's happened so far because a bit has changed. A few mistake corrections. I mixed up tameness and wildness in the last video. Wildness is the amount that they go crazy, and tameness is actually the counter. Uh, and I also messed up ambrosia too, so more on that later. We also just want to make things more efficient, so I started some flagstone pathways, as some of you guys have suggested. And I took advantage of Aura's quick sleeper trait, and I gave her less sleep. Change the bold named to Born to be Wild, because that's going to happen at some point. Uh, change some grow zones, and I want to track less dirt, so I put floors down on the doorways. Uh, after that, we started experiencing some weirdo stuff. We had a prison break. Didn't have a club person, so I had to shoot her down. Uh, and then I made a new clothing policy so that they won't wear tat eh, tattered apparel. 51 to 100%, I think. Uh... And at this point, we just had to cure up our prisoner who tried to escape, Lucy. Uh, and I'm still struggling with these drug policies. Nothing's perfect, but we can do our best. Retained the gazelle, and then we started making some more hats. We want to clothe our prisoners, so I'll be showing this in a bit. Uh, and then after that, we took kibble away from their diets, because Lee ate some kibble last time, which is weird. Oh yeah, and then there was an engagement, so human friend and the love doctor are getting married. Crazy stuff happens. Uh, then we- I had to micromanage, but I clothed the Lucy in time. Okay, so while I would like to prioritize things like defense, research, refrigeration, and we are getting more time for that, we're about halfway there to batteries, at which point we could, you know, really focus on our food game, square that away, and then start to focus on longer term priorities once we have a lot of food stockpiled up. Um, there's still a lot to be done. Uh, just in terms of normal workflow, because as you can see, Lee is still, I mean, I'm needing to get him out of bed. I, I might need to get him more smoke leaf at this point, though I've managed my drug policies so that it's pretty hard for anybody to get addicted at this point, uh, as I showed a little while ago. Um, let me see my food restrict drug policies. So if I look at my drug policies, I'm now doing it every two days and only if mood is below 25%. So it's still pretty unlikely that they'll have a mood, uh, excuse me, uh, a mental break. I don't even think that we've had any of them, which is, in, in the past had been my main difficulty with RimWorld was that I could just never control my colonists. Once you can finally get them to behave, you're way better off. Um, let me see, is Lee, okay, he's butchering. So what I really want to do with him at this point, I just want to look at some of my other work. Um, and we've also taken Aura's schedule and made it so that we can take advantage of her quick sleeper, thanks to your guys' good tips and help and whatnot. Um, but let's see, Aura is now... Really, if I have somebody else who's decent at construction, then I might have them do it. I don't think we need Human Friend doing it anymore. We had him do it for a little something micromanagey, but what I might start to do is have Aura do that, because I would like her to research, but she's also pretty good at, uh, construction. And since there's always a lot of construction work to be done, we may as well take advantage of every set of hands that we can get. Although I had wanted Lee to do that. Okay, he is kind of stressed right now, so I'm just gonna fix him up. Okay, so I have a new idea. Since I want Lee to be able to focus eventually just on shooting, because I kind of picture him as a combatant, you can see I gave him the flak jacket that Aura had been wearing, I'm going to have him instead focus solely on cooking, and then once I finally get a cook, I'll have him just be a hunter out in the wild. Um, because I kind of picture him being a leader type of person who I imagine going on hunts and, you know, taming animals and stuff like that. Anyway, we'll let Aura construct these plant pots because she needs that for her bedroom because it looks awful right now. But as soon as she's done with that, I'm thinking we're going to set her off on a massive floor smoothing grind since that's something that you can't really mess up as you go along. And we'll also just set her, since I think we already have the love doctor doing a lot of the... Like, she's basically our doctor, and then when she's not doing that, she's, like, hauling or cleaning or anything like that. So I think we're gonna have Aura do all of the construction, or grind construction, and not focus on hauling for a little while. 
Okay, so at this point, our colony is very stable, I would say. The, the main thing is, I, I, I'm always finding myself wishing for one more colonist. If I had Lucy on my squad, and it's too bad that she tried that prison break, because at this point, she is now at her resistance roost to 3.5. We changed it to reduce resistance so that we're reducing more of it. Though I think that she may be... Is she incapable of walking right now? Her manipulate... Everything seems fine. I think she's just in bed because she's still recovering from all the gunshots. <laughs> it's too bad that we didn't have a melee colonist. And one thing I also did... Did I have Aura do this? Yeah, in case if somebody else uh, tries to escape, I've actually equipped Aura with a with a bludgeon, with a steel club, so that there's somebody who can injure prisoners without, like, really screwing them up if we have to bring them back into our base. I don't think that she's ever going to have to be our last line of defense against enemies, because we've got the animals, we've got a second layer of traps in case if anything comes in. The only thing that would really be bad would be, I guess, like, drop pods, while all the animals are far out in the fields. Um... I really think that the <laughs> these are the greatest animal names I've ever had in a room world game. Uh, very good suggestion. I'm waiting a lot until I find ones that I think are really, really amazing. Because uh, I don't like to rename the animals, but it's always it's always good for for a laugh. Anyway, at this point, is human friend... Okay, he's sewing. So now her bedroom's actually gone up to mediocre. And as long as she's not going insane, she'll be fine. We'll also just kind of improve this. We'll give her a lamp in her room. And Bessie has miscarried due to starvation. Oh shit, why are our animals starving? Probably because there's no grass in the area that I've been having them go. Well, that's a... Well, that's a damn shame. Uh... I knew we would eventually eat out all of these fields. Okay, let's, uh... We've got way too many animals at this point. We're really, really close, close to having all this hay grow completely. But that's actually quite sad. Um... Let's expand our danger zone so that the animals can have the rest of the grass. I don't want them wandering around inside and whatnot, but you know what? If we're having that problem now, we may as well expand their area. Okay, great. They're eating the grass over there. <laughs> These animals have such great discipline. No. I'm upset that she lost her baby, but I guess that means, uh, I guess that means that we weren't ready to support another animal on this, on this beautiful ranch. Oh well. Be be happy and be fed, animals. Okay, we've got a female warg who has wandered in. I'm going to just attempt to tame her. Um ooh, damn, no, actually. I did not realize there's a thirty-five percent chance that they may attack, so I'm not going to have Aura try to do that. She will probably get attacked by that warg, but in time when we are better with taming wargs, that may not be a bad idea, because then the wargs could do all of the hauling for us, because they're actually very good, uh, you know, working animals, in my own experience. And is that a hare that has just recently died? Alright, just observing how the grass regrow regrows in Wormworld, uh, you know, it, it seems- it seems to me because I haven't really looked into this with any rigor, but it seems to me as if the plants replenish themselves faster if they're around other plants, which makes sense in real life. Um, if not, then it's just random, but either way, what I'm thinking of ultimately doing is kind of expanding them all this way and all this way so that we have more area for our animals to pasture, because I'm thinking that this is going to end up being colony. I'll probably have bedrooms along here, and I may end up, if this goes really well, moving bedrooms down here or so, so that the colonists could get off to their work in the middle here, and then do refrigeration up here so that they... We want to minimize that walking throughout the day. Uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of walking, so... Ultimately now, I'm trying to manage these pathways. It's not so great to have a long pathway leading down here, but it's great to have flagstone there. Uh, just so that we can manage long walking routes. But in general, uh, I mean, I've got my, my main layout. I want my warehouse here. I want most of the things that they're going to be doing throughout the day along here. And then I've got my food in a straight line. This is eventually going to be the kitchen, and we'll move other stuff. Like prisoner bedrooms and crafting over to this side. Okay, it looks like that the recruiting is going a little bit better, because Lucy's now gotten out of bed, she no longer has any wounds from her gunshots, she recovered without a scar, so we did a great job. She's quite comfortable, she's still got very low expectations. well, that's everybody here. Um, but now she is- how, how is her social? With Rock Lee, great, she is- 
She's actually in a really, really good relationship with Lee, her recruiter. And now, she's got only 0.9 resistance, so we're getting close to the point where we can recruit her. And perhaps even better in the long term is that this has been great for Lee's social skills, which take a long time to develop. Uh, so he may be a good recruiter, but she's ultimately going to be an even better recruiter, because she's already there. Okay, Panoxicillin has locked, blocked the plague on Lee. I don't- I didn't even realize that I still had Lee on Panoxicillin. I have to go double-check the drug policies. He's still on Don't Go Crazy, please, but is he... Needs health? He should have his sensory mechanites. I don't remember where I see that, actually. Wow, I don't even see Panoxicillin on him anywhere. I'm surprised that that did work. Maybe it's like some sort of, uh... Like, retroactive effect? Weird that that happened because, you know, he's still got the sensory mechanites. But hopefully that'll go away soon. Okay, and we have a raid from the Red Tez Desert Tribe. So we got Muff- <laughs> his name is Muffalo. Muffalo, Black, Monkey, Rhino, and Senra. Surprised they aren't better armed for all the crap that we have in our colony now at this point. It looks like they're gonna get through about three of these things, so I think we're gonna keep some of our colonists here uh, to shoot them because I don't want them to mess up the rest of the colony. This final wall right here, this little area right here, is pretty much only for, um... Oh, what was I gonna say? Pretty much only for if we get drop pods at this point, or just some last minute defense. I know it's not gonna help us much, but it's nice to have some area that's just like a fail safe in case if everything goes wrong. So let's just have Lee get drafted. Now why are you... Okay, he's sick and he's in serious pain, that's the main reason why his mood is low. But let's also get Human Friend, because he's a decent shooter. And we'll bring him out here. Now what's the range? His rifle's got really great range, so I think we're gonna position him in this doorway. The Love Doctor is a pacifist, so she's not going to be able to do anything, and Aura is good at beating prisoners. We'll keep her around in case if the enemies come by, and we'll also draft the Love Doctor, just because we want to draft everybody. Um, what else? Let's just have the Love Doctor... She'll be a medic in case if anything goes horribly wrong, so I'm going to position her near the medicine. Or just near everything that's going down. Alright, let's see. Lee, are you in range? He is in range of that entrance. Good. Human friend's gonna be in range, too, and he's gonna have a wood wall to lean up against. Lee should do the majority of our work, along with the traps, but let's just see how they do it. Looks like they're gonna miss this trap. We'll probably have a few come through. And one... And... Oh, you are smart somehow. That was really smart of you, you smarty pants. Okay, so I mismanaged this. I may want to fall back behind the animals at this point. This was actually rather stupid. Um, they'll fight Red Bull. Then let's have the let's set up a new zone for the animals because I would rather they hurt the animals than that they hurt our. I know this is a terrible thing, Peter. Please don't come after me. Um, but let's try this. We'll put you there. You've got a. Probably gonna be out of your range in a second, so let's move him there. And then let's make a new zone for the animals. Let's call it, uh, it'll be right over the crops. They might eat some corn if we let this happen. You know what? I'm just gonna have all of the bulls follow Lee for a s- Actually, that's fine. We'll have that. Let's do it. Okay, I created two new animal zones. So these are ca- uh, where can I do this? Uh, Weast? And east, so if the animals need to defend the eastern part, I'm gonna put them in east. And if the weast part needs to be defended, then I'll put them in weast. Uh, or east. You, you get the point. Okay, we have to make everybody unrestricted, that was an accident. Let's go for the animals. We're gonna put them all in east right now. Can't think of any animal that I don't want fighting, so let's just have this. They should get distracted by Red Bull for a second. Hopefully they- Lee don't- ah, oh, crap, he might shoot Red Bull a lot. Human friend, you go back out there. I thought that I assigned you to that. No, they're all ganging up on Red Bull. Oh no, is he gonna go down? Shit. All right, well, we get some prisoners. Let's strip this guy. Let's just check him out for a second. Intense pain, blah, blah, blah. He would be a great constructor, but he's also very neurotic. I 
don't want mental break threshold plus, but he's got great work speed. Uh, that's too bad. He could be a miner and a constructor. Either way, we're stripping him at this point. Is that guy down? Okay, she she's down. I'm just gonna strip them both first. The animals are still in. We no, you stop eating the grass over here. Okay, let's uh. We stripped them. Now I gotta make a quick decision. Am I gonna bring these people in? First off, let's just undraft everybody. Animals get back. Go oh, now, Red Bull is down. All right, we're gonna put them all back in the danger zone. Now I gotta make some quick decisions. Okay, Lee's tending to Red. He's hauling the gather. Oh God. Wait, who are you hauling? Okay, that dead guy he's hauling. All right, now we gotta decide what to do with the living. All right, Monkey is a cave child. This is the guy that we just looked at. What are his wounds? Does he have anything too horrible that we did to him? Nothing too horrible. He's gonna die in seven hours if we don't do anything. And the other guy's a little bit more urgent. But how is he as a character? He's great with plants and- These guys are not that bad. This guy's also an ascetic. He has a chemical interest, but we can manage that. I'm thinking we're gonna, uh, let's also just see, can I get anything else, any other information on them? Alright, we'll get a man and a woman too. Um, it's too bad that we're not done with Lucy, but what I might end up doing is just rapidly putting up a few new prisoner bedrooms. I'm thinking that I'm ultimately gonna have a prisoner area right about here, so I think I'm just gonna quickly throw them into my barn and then construct some more prisoner bedrooms. This is gonna be real stress on us, but if it does work out, our colony is gonna be way, way stronger by the time that we convert these people over. Okay, we're gonna capture both of them. We're putting the corpses away, and then we're gonna put them in a barn for about five minutes until we fix this up. Wow, Red came right back. What did they even do? Okay, he just got- oh, they cut off his left ear. Fortunately, his eyes are okay, though. Uh, oh, damn, he got shot in the eye. <laughs> like, these people are all losing their eyes. Jeez. Re I still like the name Red Bull. I think I'm sticking with that. Let's also just make sure that the home zone is there so that everybody can clean this area. We're gonna need to clean off all of that blood, Jesus. I don't think any of these are really, really that urgent. Death in four hours, okay, so that's pretty urgent, and Aura's also getting him. Alright, fortunately we've got very good doctors, and Lucy is very near to being converted. So let's actually start to fix up an actual prison at this point, and look, the blood is everywhere! Okay, I'm not counting on getting both of these guys as prisoners, because there's too much work that we've got to get done in too short a time to make this happen. So what I'm having Aura do uh, is start to build a set of prison cells over here. Ultimately, we're probably going to build a hospital up in this direction. Uh, there's just a lot of work to be done right now, so we'll focus on tending to them. And I also gave both of them smoke leaf joints so that hopefully they'll not go crazy right away. <laughs> We're just drugging our, our prisoners to our colony, which is awful, but you know what? If it gets them through, if it gets them through, then we'll do it. Uh, and then we'll try to give each of them a cell. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to lay out these pathways a little bit better. Oh, great, great. So Lucy's resistance has also now been broken, so we will move to Recruiter. We got 34% chance, which I think is decent. We also need to rebuild these traps because we don't want to leave ourselves open, but I think that we had a pretty... I mean, we're having a pretty good time militarily, so I think we're okay. For the most part, we'll just set all these to auto rearm, and I think I'm sticking with wood traps because, you know, they're easy to produce and we just have a lot of wood. Alright, Senra got an infection. Like I said, I'm not really counting on getting both of these prisoners. If one of them goes crazy, I'm probably gonna kill the- Ah, uh, that would be horrible. Though, that would ever also give everybody a negative mood lip. We'll do our best. Sad wander- Oh. No. You know what? Ah, everything is crashing apart even when you do a good job. Let's try this. Only because I've not I've not had this smoke leaf addiction. We'll we'll go back to making the drug policy a little bit more a little bit more 
frequent because we don't want them to go mad now what was his mood at it was at it looks like it was pretty low but not so low we'll keep it at 25 but we'll have him check every single day only because i haven't had any problems with the uh the whatchamacallit the addictions yet maybe later on we'll start to manage that better but for right now we just mm. all right i got a lot of stuff to do so i'm just gonna focus on that for a second and then get right back to you Okay, Lucy has joined us. She has agreed to join through Lee's charm. Uh, I guess he's good enough at that, so now this is great because we'll have somebody who can warden them. I don't know if she has any relationships with these people. I, I think that she's from a different tribe or whatever she's from. So wh where is where is she from? We don't really know much about Lucy. Cave World Tenor of Worm... Well, now she's of Worm Valley. Okay, so we're gonna set up her priorities so that she's doing all of the wardening. Now we can have Lee completely off of wardening, and Lee can focus on cooking, construction, and hunting so we always have food. And then at the same time, I'm giving Aura a lot of work on construction so that she gets better at that, so that we can get these cells up. And then we've also got to bring these chunks... Or we're gonna bring the workshop over here... Because ultimately we're going to have the materials closer to the center. I don't know why I put this over here. We may have to repurpose one of these rooms, but it's fine. We'll work it out. Okay, this may seem screwed up, but I'm going to have Lucy just stay in her prison cell from now on. Ultimately, I'm going to move the bedrooms up here. Uh, and I'll probably have them more laid out like where Aura's is. But I don't want to spend the time building an extra bedroom right now because it's kind of a lot of work. Uh, and we gotta focus on the cells for these guys, because we can get- we may be able to get Senra, I noticed too, because he's an ascetic, so he's not getting affected by being in this really awful, horrible- I- I imagine it can't be very good for- yeah, it's the cramped interior, but still. Okay, we have a berserk monkey- oh wait, no, I thought that was actually a berserk monkey. Um, no, he's just gone and downed Senra, that's not good. And human friend, our other shooter, is on a sad wander, uh... I'm thinking we're probably just gonna... Ooh, uh, will the animals stop him, actually? Will he go crazy on the animals? I do... I have not thought about this. Um, I'm going to allow this corpse to be... Gr I should probably be thinking more about this. We don't want to kill him, because I think it's gonna give everybody a negative moodlet. Is he also... Now, what else has he got going on? Uh, I, obviously, he's just gone crazy. We should have given him more smoke leaf. Because we were not prepared for these people. We're just going to let that doe die. We're going to bring Lee back in so that he can take care of him. And by take care of him, I mean shoot him. Uh, and hopefully he'll be okay. Okay, he is going after the animals. And it looks like like the bull. No, he is not helping. So he's just bullying the alpaca. Um, but you know what? Man versus alpaca... Oh, great. Okay, so his berserk rage has come to an end. We're gonna have Lee arrest him. Try to arrest him. Cannot arrest no unreachable. Okay, so we're gonna have to rebuild that door. And Senra's also downed because he just got attacked by a crazy man. Alright, I know that this may be immoral, but... Uh, in order to keep our prisoners from going completely insane, uh, I'm gonna give them... Oh, uh, wow, there's a lot you could do. I'm gonna give him some more smoke leaf joints. Uh, and we'll just kind of play Charles Darwin right here. We'll see... <laughs> we'll see which one of them survives the longest without developing any crazy stuff. Otherwise, uh, we may have to farm one of them for their organs. That's... I will, you know, this is gonna happen. This is bound to happen at some point. Alright, uh, anyway, I'm gonna just fix all this up. This is getting kind of out of hand. But fortunately, none of our colonists have really taken any damage, so I'd say I'm doing a decent job in that way. Okay, I'm also beginning to notice that these prisoners actually have insanely high, uh, resistances. Probably because we've been mistreating them so horribly since they got to our base. Um, but I'm thinking that of the two, well... They're pretty- they're both pretty awful, but I think since Monkey broke and went crazy and tried to escape, uh, it's gonna be harder with him, but Lucy is going to start to- no, you aren't attempting to recruit them, right? Okay, she's only reducing resistance, which hopefully, since she has high social skill, 
she will be reducing a lot of resistance as she goes. I don't know if that actually is an effect on it more as much as other things, but I guess we're about to find out. So she's doing this. Okay, that's uh, that's actually quite awful. So it is going to be <laughs> a long-term battle. All right, I think I'm mainly going to focus then just on getting security and making our base layout, layout a little bit more intelligent. Uh, I tried to do this a bit at the beginning, though it's hard to do it while balancing security. We were very secure at the beginning, but now we're running into some growing pains. Okay, so our main problem right now is that we've got way too many people to feed and we aren't still- we aren't like perfect with our food workflow, nor do we have refrigeration, so we've been relying on that way too much. So I'm gonna try to just quickly speed- I'm- Here's what I'm gonna do. First off, I'm gonna make sure that we don't get killed immediately by building some traps. Then I'm going to try to speed the construction, uh, excuse me, speed the research along to the battery. We're gonna build some power source on the outside. We'll probably put windmills right out here. And then we're, mm, that's also screwed up too. Well, we're gonna need it at some point, so we gotta do it now. Um, and then we're just gonna pray that the fields get harvested a little bit faster. I might also just take away some of the smoke leaf or move it to somewhere with a slightly lower growth rate and put corn there instead because we don't need quite this much like we're actually uh actually no the medicine we do need but the other stuff we need we, we need food really bad and praise jesus we don't need to do any of that uh we got a bunch of rice just rained down from the sky thank you randy random i love you this will at least take care of our immediate needs and then we can somehow prioritize refrigeration Okay, this is god-awful. This is pretty much the worst thing that could have ever happened. Right after rice rained down from the sky, we have a blight, so I need to now cut everything. Uh, we really are gonna want to stop this as soon as possible because this can be alarming. Uh, we're gonna just want to focus everybody on plants for a second. Requires a lot of micromanagement, but I don't know what else I could have done to maybe slightly spread them apart more, but they need to be so far apart to prevent it in the first place. A fortunately, human friend can pretty much just mow through the plants since he's so fast at plant cutting. Uh, we're gonna have him do this. I thought I would need to- Ah, no, more it's spreading. I thought I would have to have more people do it, but I think he will be able to unplant all of our stuff. We may need to kill some of the animals for food soon, though. Okay, to add insult to injury, Senra's now gone berserk, but he was beaten by Monkey. Okay, so Monkey did our work for us. We're gonna capture him again. This is probably going to put his resistance up even. No, actually, it did not put it up more, so that is a surprise. But at this point, uh, we gotta figure out the meals. I'm okay if these guys are just, like, basically living in anarchy for a little while, and human friend... Ah, yeah, he needed to consume rice so that he wouldn't go faint and go crazy. Not really a good time, but we'll get through this. Okay, it looks like Human Friend has done a great job tackling this blight. It probably killed about a third of our crops, but most of the nearly grown corn is okay. I think we lost maybe one unit of that, so we actually did a fairly decent job. Um, and I'm gonna actually use this time to just reallocate our growth zones so that they don't look quite so terrifying. Alright, that grow zone looks a little bit better if I do say so myself. So at this point, um... Lucy, what did she get hit? She Somebody punched her. She Okay, so it was just human fists, so she won't get infections or anything like that. Um, but at this point, Love Doctor's working on the animals. We've almost got one prison cell ready. Lee is, is hunting again, but we've probably got to hunt more animals. We'll work on that. It's mainly just the food situation and the prisoner situation. Okay, so at this point, we finally got one of the prisoner bedrooms finished up. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna give this one to Monkey since he's not an ascetic. Uh, I think it'll be slightly better for him. Ultimately, I'm just gonna give them both 
like decent veterans. We'll we'll see about how much we can please Senra. Uh, I think Senra will ultimately be a little bit easier to recruit. Uh, but at this point, Lee's got that done. Lee's finally back in a slightly better cooking grind. We've got this corn that's 97% grown, so I think we should finally have food again soon. The animals are also... Ooh, I should probably... Well, it's gonna be a barn again in like five minutes, so we won't worry too much about that. But we do have a crop harvest, so the animals should be happy again soon. I don't know how much it feeds them, like bit by bit, but I think that the animals are going to love their new hay. Okay, so it may not be much, but we finally managed to get them into bedrooms and my head is cleared of that, because now the animals can go back to their barn and let me just make sure that they're not restricted from there. Yep, okay, great. So the pasture is that area. They should be able to do that. I'm going to hold these open, these doors open. I think that the animals can get to them anyway, but... I can't imagine why they couldn't. Wait, no, the animals are getting to their food. So we'll leave the barn doors closed just in case if we have to bring them in in the winter. And we'll eventually make that barn uh, larger too, just so they have somewhere inside to sleep. Uh, you know, animals can get struck by lightning and st I, at least I remember a bull getting struck by lightning somewhere in the past, quite recently. And then we'll probably try to clean off all this blood because it's just there. Okay, we had a Mega Sloth self-tame, which is absolutely awesome. This thing is going to be insanely good. And you know what? I'll take it after that blight and all the other crap that's gone wrong for our colony. Uh, at this point, I'm taking advantage of Human Friend's uh, catharsis, because he's just going to be in an incredibly good mood for a few days. Uh, we have a few more things to do. I'm mainly just surprised that we've not managed to get further with the technology, so I think we got to get refrigeration ASAP. I'm just going to specify a few more job roles that they don't have that. Surprisingly, though, nobody's really bothered by the blood being everywhere or anything like that. Uh, and then hopefully for the next time we'll have, you know, that done. We'll have a fridge and power. Okay, I think that research has, I don't know what led me to this, and I honestly don't remember if it's even true, but I think research has uh, speed penalty bonus if it's not or rather debuff uh, if it happens to in a dirty area so ultimately we'll want to get sterile tiles for this place but I figure since Aura's got a little bit more time on her hands since she's a quick sleeper I'm gonna have her be our kind of dedicated researcher and animal person uh, and then we'll try to research sterile tile tiles pretty quickly after this um, but wood will do we just mainly need these batteries so that we can get that refrigeration going so we don't have to be worrying about food still so much I never appreciated just how much skill it takes to become a great cook in RimWorld. We're gonna have maybe a thousand, a couple thousand more XP before Lee is a, a good cook and won't mess up his cooking. Um, but I also realized that now we have a Mega Sloth which can haul. Uh, which is fantastic because that's really one of the only jobs that I wanted to delegate. Uh, I don't want any of my colonists really to be doing it. I had or the Love Doctor was doing it for a while, but she's just got a lot of stuff to do. She does do it from time to time. Aura was doing it, but now she's researching. Lucy's busy with others, busy with prisoners right now. Lee's busy cooking, and Human Friend's busy in the field. So just more work to get to delegate. And honestly, if we can get Aura, who's our animal specialist, working on the animals to train the animals to make them like other colonists, that would be awesome. Okay, it seems like Lucy's actually starting to do a fantastic job reducing the prisoner's resistance, so we may have two new colonists before you know it. Uh, which will be terrible because then I'm going to need more rooms for them. But I'm also starting to just set up a few things before Aura finishes her research on uh, batteries because I want to make sure that I have the fridge area ready. Now I know that this is a risk of infestation if we don't manage to keep it cool enough, so I'm gonna have to really worry about keeping this thing cool enough, but then our food worries won't be so bad. I've also not gone too deep under this mountain, just so that in the early phases, when we're still mining the place out, we'll be at less of a risk for an infestation, uh, though it could happen. But I'm thinking mine this area out, install an AC unit, keep it well below freezing, 
I think it's like negative 17 Fahrenheit or so that we've got to keep it at. And then this area will be underneath a mountain, but it's going to be safe to store food in because it's going to be cold enough to prevent infestations from. Cross my fingers. Okay, monkeys actually attempted to escape again, so we're just gonna put Lee near him. Actually, I shouldn't have even had him firing at him, because he could have hit red, but right next to him should be okay. Actually, I don't know if that, if there's somebody right between them and their enemy, I think they're okay. But monkey has been subdued again. Lee's taken off of wardening, human friend is tending to him, and we're fine. Uh, I think we're out of medicine again, so I might need to make this heal root area even larger, so I think I'm going to designate one new grow zone, because that's pretty important. We can't run out of medicine or we're all screwed. Okay, I'm selling a lot of our cowboy hats to a trader for some neutroamine. I, neutromine? Neutro, I think it's neutroamine. Uh, we're gonna accept that because eventually this is gonna be useful for creating more panoxicillin, as some of you guys have said. Um, I think it's good for something else too, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but it's just good to have more of that stuff because we cannot make it ourselves as far as I know. Okay, at this point I don't like to pat myself on the back too much for fear that I'm going to fuck something else up. Uh, but, and we got, oh, we got a gift. Ooh, nine medicine, that's great! We actually did really need that, that's fantastic. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there, because our colony's clearly at a much higher level than we start at. Look at all their llamas go! Or alpaca, that, well, that, that's just a llama. Uh, with a different name. Okay, let's, um, we'll finish off this mountain, and I don't know if we're gonna get done with the research just yet, but I think that'll probably be the first thing, and much of the focus of next time is just getting our food, locked in and done so that we never have to think about food anymore and then we can start thinking about researching better technologies so that we're actually defended from things that descend upon us all right so that and security and i pretty much think that's everything else that we'll have to do uh i may need to do something about these animals because i have far too many animals and i really don't think that they're pulling their weight that much uh i mean it's great to get better with them and they're great for backups, like our Mega Sloth and our Rhino, I'm pretty sure could defend us from some pretty crazy stuff, but the Rhino refuses to be tamed, I've seen it fail many times, so he's born to be wild still. Uh, oh, and we gotta restrict the Mega Sloth, stay in the pasture zone. Don't know, he may be, we may not be giving him what he needs, but anyway, let me know about raising a Mega Sloth, this is my, this is my first Mega Sloth, and uh... As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the great comments, and bye-bye.